come in with nothing and just go, I'm, I'm excited, I'm creative, I'm passionate about that, I'm interested in learning about store design, let's go, let's go. we're gonna build from scratch and go on and do amazing things. We're still teaching the brick and mortar. That's never going away. Um, people love the experience of shopping. They love that um, being able to touch and feel and see things, try things on. We have to create the customer experience. And so that's a big part of our curriculum right now is how do we teach our students to combat the um, ease and convenience of online shopping and bring that into the retail world because people are kind of expecting both now. You would typically think it's store design or anything. No, we do graphic, we do photography, we do like uh, interior design, we do fashion design, we do so much more than what I just expect. Like visual merchandising, you cannot put it in a box. Retail is changing, and so we are adapting to that change. There are things that we're seeing now that five years ago I was teaching in the course called Future of Retail. So some of the stuff that we're doing is one of it is visualization. What will that look like? So for instance, I've got this crazy kitchen with lights hanging from the ceiling. Um, I can then run a render of that and end up with something that looks like this, where it's really gorgeous. And the clients can look at this and go, oh, that's what you're talking about, terrific. I, we can see how that's going to look um, from this point of view and the contractors and the, and the fabricators can then use this same information to go ahead and build things that they need. Tech is really infiltrating into the retail world. And so our students are equipped with figuring out how do we shop with our smartphones? How do we make that customer experience more interesting? Can we use AR in the shopping experience? Can we use VR? The other thing that we're finding out here is the event industry is really big in this area. Um, so floral design, prop making, um, even the graphic design, doing signage and things like that. That's huge for our students um, in this area. So we really like to make sure that they're well-rounded and they're able to do you know, both sides of the spectrum, really. You learn so much more than what you expect, and there's always something new to learn every day. I honestly love this program. I love that I have all this creativity to get out, and it's a great outlet for me to just express myself however I'd like. It also helps me be more flexible when it comes to my creativity. Like, I'm just not limited to fashion, visual merchandising. Like, I get to do toys as well. And I didn't expect that I could do such projects. This is the place where you find out kind of who you are, what you excel at, and what your interests are. And for the first time in your educational history, you're really finding people that are as similar to you as possible. What are the students like in this program, you guys? Amazing. Hey, they're awesome. <laughs> so there you go. Little thumbs up. They're all actually terrific people. You don't have to change who you are when you come to visual merchandising arts. You can be as creative as you want to be. You don't have to be perfect at it. You don't have to be a top student at arts or whatever, because when you come here, you learn. You get to work with your hands. You get to work with people who are like-minded like you and you get to have so much fun. So we're really fortunate in this college to have this space that's dedicated to visual merchandising. Um, not every program has their own studio. This is such a great space to teach in. It's so dynamic, as you can see. There's always people in here. There's always stuff happening. The big display windows, that they're always changing. So we're trying to recreate in the classroom environment the chance where people can say, what would this look like in the real world? How would I go ahead and build something that we could show off, take pictures of these things, put them in your portfolio, go get a job based on some of the stuff that we do in here. We've got um, windows in here that people can use. We've got suspension grids that we can teach with. We've got tons of props, our prop room. We have computers for people just in case they forget theirs at home or they want to jump on as a group or something like that. Uh, we've got a vinyl cutter in here. We have just about everything that you could need to create whatever you're creating. Being there, being able to see, bring to life an idea from a sketch to something in real life, it's something so amazing. So our students are getting the opportunity to design and install and do all the prop making um, for these holiday windows in downtown Kitchener so the entire community can see what we do in visual merchandising. So the holidays are a really big factor for us and a really big focus. And the nice thing about that is that we can also tie that into our um, what up and coming annual New York trip. It's like the mecca of like the whole visual merchandising art scene. So we'll take them to New York City for a few days, check out the holiday windows, and also have the opportunity to engage with some of the prop houses that are down there and understand how something that large scale 
um, how it operates and how these all these creatives come together to make that magic happen. Once you're in this space, once you see these people and meet and just see the nonsense that happens in this room, the fun that we're having, you'll know whether that's the right place for you or not. It's a very creative kind of classroom. Everybody is very talented. Everybody has their own skill sets. So when everybody comes together, there's a wonderful world of ideas circling around. And everybody works well together. Everybody are friends. <laughs> it wasn't until I learned about the VM industry as a whole where I saw opportunities where I'm like, I could do that. I'm good at that. So it's one of those things where you don't have to be good at everything. You could be good at some things and then we'll teach you the rest. Um, we love it when you have a strong set of skills coming in and then in one area and then we can teach you something you've never done before and that might be the thing that you fall in love with. Something that you've never done before, you had no idea if you're going to be good at it or not and all of a sudden you've developed this amazing skill and that's what you choose to go into the industry with. If you want to meet people who are like-minded like you, who enjoy being creative, who enjoy great music, <laughs> come to VMA. You will enjoy it. <laughs>